Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video guys if you have a Hyundai Sonata and you need to remove or replace guys intake camshaft position sensor. Stay with us, we're going to cover everything from start to finish. Also, we'll explain how you can test those guys, so make sure it's stay until the end. So this should actually work on Hyundai Sonata generation from year 2010 all the way to year 2015 guys. Also, uh, let me introduce you quick to the channel. If you guys uh, need to buy any parts, tools, anything like that, we'll share the links in the description of the video below and you can see where we get all that from for a really good price and quick shipping as well. Another thing, every single car we get at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. And specifically guys, on this Hyundai Sonata, we'll have more than 300 videos, mechanical videos, videos that will be uploaded on the channel you're watching right now and we'll have more than 200 electrical videos about diagnostics fixing electrical components and that will be posted on our second channel electrical car repair live check it out guys everything okay will be shared so we can guys save you as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel and like the video Specifically guys, you can see this is a Hyundai Sonata 2013 model, but it should work on the whole generation. This is the engine cover right here. How you guys remove it, you grab firmly and you pull straight up. You have four rubber bushings, okay? One, two, three, four. They attach to these posts right there, you can see. Now, with that being said guys, let's analyze the engine. On the back side of the engine, you have the exhaust side. On the front side, it's the intake side. This is your intake manifold. You have two camshaft uh, two camshafts on that engine one for the intake one for the exhaust the intake camshaft position sensor guys you have two of them one for the intake one for the exhaust the intake is located right here now if you have a cold or problems car not starting or anything like that inspect the wires make sure they're good they're not eaten by a animal they're not melted broken or anything like that make sure the connector is pushed all the way in in some cases you have a safety pin guys you should have a safety lock here and it will look something like that that you need to pull straight out like that and then press down to release it but this one is broken somebody broke it so what we have to do push in the middle and disconnect it now so let's go ahead do that perfect so with that being said we disconnected it guys you have only one bolt now holding that camshaft position sensor towards the cylinder head with 10 millimeter we're going to get an offset box wrench and try to reach it because here you have few hoses that will actually prevent you guys okay from getting to that bolt so let's go ahead and see if we can reach it with the offset box wrench okay we got it loose guys because otherwise okay if you don't have an offset box wrench we'll put the link in the description of the video below where you can get one form for a really good price okay i think i can get it probably from here let me see okay like that okay ah almost yeah you can see it started getting loose but you need to just get it with two hands you can remove let me explain quick that bracket right here with 10 millimeter remove that the hoses will move to the side and you can reach with the socket guys at that point okay i think it's going easy now pretty easy let's check it out okay let me see okay you can see the bolt is spinning now what i will do okay we will need to get that bolt with two fingers because i will drop it guys i cannot do it with one hand while i'm holding the camera so uh, we will remove it just gently pull it out that will be the easiest way to remove the camshaft position sensor otherwise you can remove that 10 millimeter bolt that hold these hoses on the side and you can reach it even better guys okay check it out it should be any time now up bolt came loose don't drop it yep so that's the one that you can actually guys disconnect here and move to the side and it will be easier that sensor will be stuck just go ahead and slowly guys okay apply a little bit of pressure jiggle with a little bit okay it has an o-ring that's stuck and pull it out this is guys okay the sensor now in some cases it could be even a dirty sensor that doesn't detect correctly the movement of the camshaft so we have a special video that explains how to actually guys okay how to actually even test those on a hyundai video will be coming soon on our channel so please don't hesitate okay to subscribe uh, all that information will be shared there also if you need to buy a new sensor for a really good price we'll share the link in the description of the video below thank you for watching and see you next time